My name is Ross McLaughlin, and this set of videos is specifically geared at students of the International Baccalaureate program for both HL and SL. If you're a student from another school, or if you're just trying to learn more about economics, you're welcome to go ahead and watch these videos too. The first thing we have to learn about economics is what it is and what it isn't. So I've got a set of 10 words over here, and what I want you to think about is there's five words that belong in a definition of economics and five words that don't belong in a definition of economics. Take a moment, look at the words, and decide which five belong and which five don't. One of the initial things that people get confused about when studying economics is they don't really understand what it is that they're meant to be learning. Economics, first and foremost, is about learning how to manage resources and learning how we as individuals make choices. Sometimes we think it has a lot to do with something like money, but in fact, money is just a way that helps us make our choices or show that we have made a choice. It doesn't really have anything to do with economics itself. That being said, there probably won't be a day that goes by that we don't mention something about money or use a monetary value, but we're not really studying money when we study economics. Likewise, then, is that the banking system, that's not really what economics is about either. Do bankers and financial advisors, do they understand economics? Well, of course they do, but just like we're not studying banking, uh, money, we're also not studying banking, though we will look at it a little bit more in depth later on. Well, what do we have left? We're not studying corporations. Corporations are a way that uh, lots of economic choices are made, but economic choices are made by a lot of other people. So we're not necessarily just studying businesses, especially big businesses like corporations. Well, if we're not studying businesses, then we're not studying profit. So we can get rid of that one. Again, it will come up. It's something that obviously is going to um, make choices more important and people are going to make their choices based on how much profit they might be able to make, but it's not really the heart of what we're looking at. And finally, this one, management, well, we could mean management of resources and that would be okay, but I meant management such as, you know, being a manager or being the boss of a business or something like that. And it's important to realize that it's not a business class. Um, we're not going to teach you how to, you know, manage your employees or people skills or anything like that. Uh, those are fine things to learn. It's just not what economics is about. So we have these five choices left, or these five words left, and let's see if we can't make a de definition from them. Well, first and foremost, we know that economics is a social science. It's a study. Science always means study or knowledge. It's a study of how people work in society. Well, what else do we have to figure out? Well, if it's people doing it, they're probably going to make choices. And what are they going to make choices about? Well, they're going to make choices about what they're going to do with their resources that they have available. Now, resources can mean a lot of things. It can mean natural resources like oil or land or water, but it can also mean resources that an individual has, like time and money. When they make choices about uh, what they're going to do with their resources, they're going to do that, hopefully, to satisfy various wants or needs, we don't really distinguish too much between the two in the definition, um, to, uh, to satisfy the various wants and needs that an individual or government or uh, business might have. So let's see how we did. So this is from Investopedia, which is a good site if you want to just find definitions. And they say a social science that studies how individuals, governments, firms, and nations make choices on allocating uh, scarce resources to satisfy their unlimited wants. That's a very good working definition of economics and a good place to start from. Let's delve a little bit more into that. The key problem in economics is the problem of what we call scarcity. The idea of scarcity is that you simply don't have time or you don't have the resources to get everything that you want. Uh, there's a good Rolling Stones song about that, right? A common uh, meme, I think is what we call it, a common meme in IB economic, uh, I'm sorry, in the IB program, is that this is you, here are your three choices, and you can only do two of them. So you can study, you can sleep, or you can have a social life. 
Well, I don't personally uh, agree all the way with this, because I think if you manage your time well, you can do all three, but that's a different issue for a different day. For now, let's go ahead and say that it's true that you can only have two out of these three. Well, if we go back to the definition, the definition um, talks about this idea of unlimited wants. You want to study because you want to get good grades and get into a good college, etc., etc. You want to sleep because, well, sleep. And you want to have a social life because, well, we all like to have friends and do things that are fun. The problem is you have these unlimited wants, but your resources are scarce. Your resources as a student are pretty much your study time or your free time. So, with your free time, what this is implying is that you can't do all three. So then you have to prioritize your choices and think about what do I want the most, the second most, and third most. So, I like to make the example of a, uh, of, of a passenger airplane. Um, we call the seats in the back, we call them the economy class, don't we? We often use this word economy to imply that something is less expensive. Well, if we think about various people and them wanting to fly, I think every time somebody gets on a plane, their number one want, the number one thing they want to have happen, is they want to get to the destination. You tell me that we're going to go to Maui, get me to Maui. That's number one. Sometimes you need extra bags. And if you buy a more expensive seat or if you pay some extra money, you can have, a more, uh, you can have extra bags. Uh, some people want to be really comfortable. They want to be able to lie flat and get a good meal and maybe have better uh, entertainment all those sorts of things. Finally, some people have, like to have perks. They like to get lots of frequent flyer miles and they like to have a, a nice lounge to stay in and they like to board the plane first and go through security easily. Well, those are the different things that paying for a more and more and more expensive uh, ticket will get you. But when you're looking at someone who has a finite amount of resources, in this case money, cash, well, they're only going to buy as much as they can afford. Now, somebody who buys an economy class seat, and say it costs $500, perhaps they can afford to buy a business class seat and get all these things for $1,500, but they would rather take that extra $1,000 and do something else with it. So again, just like we saw over here, there's lots of different choices you can have, and I suppose we could add to this list, we could put uh, a television down. If I spend an extra thousand dollars on an airplane ticket, well then I can't buy a television with that same thousand dollars. So, anyway, in all this, the point is that we have lots of different choices and we have a scarce amount of resources. In economics, that's the problem of scarcity. Well, the solution is you allow choice and people will hopefully make the choice that they see as being the most efficient. If I really want a new TV and I want to go to Maui, it wouldn't make sense if I don't have enough money for all of these things plus a new TV. It would make sense for me to buy the least expensive seat so that I can also buy the new TV. In that scenario, I would value the new TV more than I would value flying with extra bags comfortably and getting all the perks. If you have any comments, please make sure to put them in the comments below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more updates and more videos from me.